What's going on, boxing fans? This is Quest X coming to check you with another video. Uh, what's going on, LDBC? Hope all the good brothers in the LDBC are doing good. <clears throat> Hope they had good, productive days. Uh, so let's get into the nitty gritty. Uh, I saw on my lunch break today. I checked out, you know, Good Man Ticket TV. His boxing videos caught up on a couple of his videos, and he talked about how Deontay Wilder had been saying some, you know, official shit. Um, and I'm going to be honest with you. I think this whole Alexander Povetkin situation has really, you know, this is going to turn out to be a real problem in the heavyweight division. I think Deontay Wilder, you can tell in his attitude and in his recent videos, the man is calling out Anthony Joshua now. He's talking about he'll fight Anthony Joshua any day. Um, this man is about to go on a tear in the heavyweight division. And if people still doubt the bronze bomber men, that's on you, but he has my bomb squad has my support 100%. I think he's a down to earth dude. I think that you know, he's he's ready. And I think he's about to take the heavyweight division by storm, okay? Cut all that, you know, hooping and hollering, jumping up and down like Tyson Fury, you need to sing at at fights and stuff like that. Listen, I commend Tyson Fury for, you know, his personality, but I'm sorry, Tyson Fury is, you know, he didn't do shit in that uh, Klitschko fight. Uh, Klitschko beat himself because uh, Klitschko was himself. He, the motherfucker don't throw punches. So I really, I think people kind of overstate the performance by Tyson Fury in that fight. So it is what it is. But let's look at it. Uh, you know, let's move on to uh, another uh, fighter who I feel is getting a raw deal. And people need to be real careful because you're going to wake up the demon in them. You got Andre Ward. Now, listen, I've been on the record as saying months, months before the fight was announced with Ward and Kovalev that Ward is about to do some epic shit at light heavyweight. And people think I'm playing. He about to do some epic shit. Watch him go over there, tax Kovalev's ass, and then he's going to move on and he's going to take out Adonis Stevenson's ass. Because I still believe that Adonis, Adonis Stevenson is on Andre Ward's list. He not coming out about it, not talking about it, but trust me. A lot of people, like, you know, you, you guys been disrespectful of Andre Ward lately because his fucking tune-up fight. And, and listen, <laughs> if you're the type of dude who wants to see a fighter get challenged every fight, then I'm all with that. But you got to understand that Andre Ward isn't just any fighter. This guy is a top-notch, grade-A level fighter. All right? You know, I don't see anybody fucking bitching and moaning where other dudes take light touches. How many light touches has certain fighters, I'm going to put them in quotation marks, have had. And I don't see shit talked about them. But guys like Andre Ward or look at the situation Deontay Wilder was forced into fighting Chris Ariola, And I see him getting criticized. Keith Thurman gets criticized. You know what I'm saying? Sean Porter gets fucking criticized. And Sean Porter is willing to fight anybody. But some of you dudes celebrate the clowns. The, st the stupid asses in boxing. You know, you celebrate Adrian Broners. You celebrate the clowns who really ain't focused and dedicated to the sport. But hey, that's another story. That's for another video. But what I'm trying to bring it back to here is that I think people need to be real careful right now. Because... A lot of the guys you guys are giving passes to, it's slowly starting to, it's starting, the walls are starting to close in on them. Ain't too many left, excuses left for them to go or to have. So I think with Deontay, we're back to Deontay Wilder. I think that Deontay Wilder is about to do some really crazy shit. He going to go in there and punish Chris Ariola. I'm telling you right now, we probably, anything less than an execution, I'd be surprised. When he fights Chris Ariola. And he about to move on and do some really crazy shit. Andre Ward, I've been saying this shit for two years. Andre Ward is, is going to do some epic shit at light heavyweight. This is before he moved up to light heavyweight. You got Sh Sean Porter. You got Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman about to attack Sean Porter's ass. I'm sorry, Sean. You're my boy. If you come across this video, I got nothing but love for you. But Keith Thurman is Keith Thurman gonna put them hands on you, man. Keith Thurman about to go move on. And I'm sorry, Danny Garcia. Your days are numbered, bro. 
your days are numbered as the man at 147. Earl Spence, another one, criticized. Criticized for doing nothing but beating dudes up. You know, people focus on body parts rather than focus on the guy's intelligence, ring IQ, his ability to cut the ring off, his ability to sit there and go have a steady, disciplined diet to the body, to the head, to the body, to the head. Nobody points that out. Everyone want to talk about the dude's fucking nipples. So, yeah, all I'm saying is. Show these guys some respect, man. Show them some respect. This is Quest X. I'm out. Peace.